We're about to finish up our building an automation project from concept to reality video series. And I wanted to give you a sneak peek of it because Amber and I will be at Automate next week. I wanted to know, what do you think it needs? What should be on our shopping list as far as we're looking around Automate? This has a Yamaha Skira robot and we're going to be finishing some material for some frames. It has an Allen Bradley 5032 IO link module. And yeah, we're going to need some sensors to add to it. So what type of smart sensors would you like to learn about? Because one real key advantage to this is this will stay in our training center. So we'll be able to come back and make additions to it and make videos about questions that come up. Other devices on the front of it is it has a banner light curtain and it has a fortress gate switch. And inside of the cabinet, it has a Siemens 3VA6 breaker, complete with all the current monitoring options. So we're gonna learn a lot about it. It's using a PILS power supply and has the class two overcurrent protection. Yamaha's RCX340 robot controller, a banner safety controller, a Siemens ethernet switch with all of the advanced diagnostics features. And we're using Siemens ET200 SPIO. One thing that you don't see in this is a PLC because this is designed to be brand agnostic. So this should be able to run off an Allen Bradley PLC, a Siemens PLC, really any brand that supports Ethernet IP, Modbus, and Propinet should be able to run this. Now, while this was how to build an automation project from concept to reality, I didn't want it fully finished when we were done because one i wanted to see what ideas you came up with and also many of you are doing upgrades so immediately after we're done with this part we are going to be looking at an upgrade is we want to add a pick and place system over here to pick the frames up and move them through the pieces so we're going to be looking for a linear actuator probably some type of pneumatic vacuum gripper thing but not even sure what that is yet and since we don't have room in the cabinet I want all this to be over IO link. What do you think I should use for that? And there are some small issues, like right here. You see as this backs up, it's gonna pinch these cables. So we're gonna be looking for some cable management solutions. So let me know your thoughts on what we should be looking for at Automate. And if you are a vendor at Automate, then feel free to come up and find us. We'll see you next week.